Hello and welcome to this edition of Fine Dining. This week, we bring you to a restaurant that's located in a very historical building in Shanghai. In fact, it might be one of the most famous houses here, the Mula Villa. Since the house has been existing in the city for nearly 80 years, a lot of people might assume that they come here for the traditional cuisine. Yes, they're right. But the executive chef now is trying all the way he can to create something new. And that is the reason why we are here. Mula Villa is located at number 30 South Shanxi Road. It is considered to be the closest thing to a fairy tale house in Shanghai. Once you pass the threshold, the classic decoration immediately pulls you back in time. The entire villa was built in the 1920s and finished in the 1930s. Every nook and cranny here tells a story of mysterious time from the past. These Chinese style artworks blend well with the Western architecture. Even the original mosaic flower tires have been cut from this house. This villa echoes a ballad of a father's love for his daughter. How could we pass up a chance to enjoy a dinner here and share in the happiness of the very lucky little girl? Based on our food critics' recommendations, we ordered Fuyong style sturgeon mussel, codfish with avocado cream sauce, small gui duck clam with tofu, and braised lamb snot catfish mall. All right, my Mula Villa food voyage now starts. And because they are doing fusion cuisine right now, so I'm starting my meal today with a soup. Um, it's very interesting. The soup's name is called Fuyong style sturgeon mussel. And Fuyong style is a very typical Chinese cooking method um, based on the egg white ingredients. It could be put in the hot oil or in the boiling water. And when the egg white just meets extreme heat, it gets coagulation and into a very flourish appearances. And the main ingredients in this dish is sturgeon mussel. Sturgeon is a very interesting fish. They call it primitive fish. It has very high nutrition level. There's so many talking, I'm a little bit hungry. I'm going to taste it. See? Very crunchy. And the fuyong texture was the very crunchy, crispy muscle. This kind of very obvious contract texture as a starter, it just allures you to want to try more of their dish. Very nice. The next dish is codfish with avocado cream sauce. It is cooked using a melty style method which combines both Chinese and Western styles. Hmm. I really have to say, the enlightening or the most outstanding point of the whole dish is the sauce. First of all, the sauce that marinated the codfish, it's very complicated. I just remember there are several things. Um, fermented tofu sauce, um, tomato sauce, and lemon juice, I guess. So you get a little bit of the saltiness, um, umaminess, and at the same time, the lemon juice will gives or brings out the entire a very delicious and tasty flavor of the codfish but that's what I said the enlightening part of this dish is this sauce I guess this is avocado and cream because the codfish is a little bit smoked on the pecan on the wood so you get a little bit of the charcoal flavor it's a brilliant idea charcoal flavor with avocado cream it's just magic. All right, since the executive chef claimed that they are now having the fusion and the modern cuisine, this is a perfect example. At the base, and you put tofu pudding uh, at the bottom, and on the top, that's the goi duck clam, very crispy. You slice it into very thin pieces. Sometimes you eat it raw. So now I'm going to start eating it. This is the tuna flake. In Chinese, we call it mu yu hua and with very special flavor, very aromatic. For the tofu pudding, it just soaks in all the flavor of the juice of the soup. And I guess when they create and develop this dish, the entire idea is to achieve the balance or the contrast of two different textures. It's very refreshing, keeps you healthy, and it just gives you more appetite to go on with the entire meal. Very nice. And now I'm having the fish mold pairing with the mushroom. Um, again, we come back to the topic of the balancing. Fish mold is pretty good and benefit for feminine because of its high protein, high gelatin, um, high calcium. 
and traditional Chinese medicine philosophy believes that when it comes to the end of summer, because of the heat, because of the temperature, that we lose a lot of the spirit or we lose a lot of qi during the summertime. So when we come to the end and when the autumn is about to arrive, then it's time to get a lot of nutritious ingredients to get prepared of the upcoming winter. So I'll be finishing my fish mall. And for you, you are always welcome to scan the QR code on our screen and stay tuned with ICS every Thursday night, 11.38. And always, we can communicate on our WeChat and Weibo and tell us more about what you think about the program. Bye for now. The fine dining menu in this episode is recommended by food critic Guan Jia. 我也觉得买了美食说买了是国营的因为相对来说对我们所有的人来讲国营餐厅的那些厨师他只能说我规规矩矩的做好这些东西但是对一些不安分的人来说他绝对是一个不安分的厨师那么他的不安分决定了他要